Hey everybody, it's Ben reminding you that I can only do my videos with your support. So please sponsor me for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash Premium. You're gonna love it. You get uh, uh, rewards and exclusive raunchier, edgier bonus content that only my Patreon supporters get to see. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Thank you, and I love you. Ben's got a twin and his name is Lynn. He's got a big old mullet and a stupid grin. Lives near his brother in a trailer not far from here. Ben and Lynn are brothers, but one's straight and the other is queer. Hi there! Welcome to the Lowdown with Lynn. Today we're going to discuss the Trump administration's handling of the coronavirus epidemic. Okay. Now, where do I get started? Okay, this motherfucker, let's talk about him. This piece of shit doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, if you ask me. I mean, come on. We got shit. Have you been seeing online? There's like, the, there's like this military memo that's like three fucking years ago, the military told Trump administration that, well, first, let's even go further back. When he, during the transition, when, the, when he came into office, the Obama people gave him like a whole handbook of said, hey, get ready, motherfuckers. There's gonna be a big old pandemic and, and it's likely to happen because it had already happened with them, H1N1 and the Ebola, and they, they took care of that, okay. So they warned Trump, he didn't do fucking shit. He just took that fucking book and threw it in the garbage. They didn't even give a shit. They're like, who cares, it's Obama. Well, that was really stupid, you motherfucker. Okay, so then the fucking military, they, they send him all these memos and shit three years ago. They're like, there could be a pandemic. It's coming, we gotta be ready for it. We need to get ready and stock up on shit and be ready for, it, for that to come. But no, he didn't do fucking shit. He's like, I don't care, whatever. I just wanna fucking go golfing and shit. He doesn't give a fuck about us. This, this fat fucker, I'll tell you, he's fucking fatter than me. I mean, how fat is he gonna eat his way through the fucking pandemic? He just keeps getting fatter and fatter, just like the rest of us, because we're stuck inside because of this fucking piece of shit. All right, so then, they, you know, in like early January, or in des late December, they're telling him there's a pandemic in China. We better get ready. He don't give a shit. He's like, I think it's all overblown. I think this is bullshit. In the meantime, it just keeps spreading and shit. And then he's, yeah, he does this bullshit where he says he did a travel van in China. He did a new, new fucking no travel van. Almost 400,000 people still flew in. All sorts of people fucking flew in. So that travel van was a fucking joke. And he keeps going back saying, I did a travel van, which I am the only one who had the guts to do it. You didn't have guts to do shit, motherfucker, because it didn't do nothing. People flew in anyway, and they kept flying in from Europe. And by the way, the fucking Anthony Fauci and the CDC said on March fucking 2nd, we need to shut this fucking country down, motherfucker. And, and Trump's like, hell no. And then something comes out today and said, had he done that, 90% of the fucking people who died wouldn't have died and we wouldn't have had to shut down the whole fucking economy like this. In South Korea, they didn't have to do that because the motherfuckers had tests. Oh, don't, oh, don't even get me started about the fucking tests. He's all like, Oh God, I had an empty cabinet. We didn't have no tests for the virus because Obama didn't leave us any. Hey, you dumb motherfucker. You can't have tests for a virus that doesn't exist yet, okay? So this notion that fucking Obama was supposed to leave him coronavirus tests is complete bullshit. He needed to have a the, the, in place a way to develop tests the minute the virus was discovered. They, they were offering to give him the fucking samples of the virus right off the start, but he didn't ramp up testing. In fact, to this fucking day, this fat orange motherfucker has not done shit about any testing at all. In fact, he's saying, oh, the states have to do it. It's their job. How in the fuck are the states supposed to mass produce 330 fucking million coronavirus tests? 
They can't because they're just the states. The federal government's supposed to do that, you dumb piece of shit. My God, that's the only way we're going to get out of this. The only way we're going to be able to leave these fucking houses and go have some semblance of freedom is if we have testing on a massive scale where everybody can go get tested and then if you test positive, you get your ass into fucking quarantine for 14 days. And if you test negative, then it's okay. You can go to work. You can go to the restaurant. You can go to the bar. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Don't you get it, you fucking dumb orange piece of shit? You got to do the fucking testing or we're never going to get out of our houses and you're never going to have your fucking stock market back, you dumb fuck. Well, that's it for this episode of Lowdown with Lynn. I'll see you next time. Have fun in quarantine. Ow! Hey everybody, I'm Ben Zook. Hey, do me a favor, please hit that thumbs up like button and please click on my face to subscribe so that you get all of my videos whenever I post them on YouTube. Hey, and please consider sponsoring me on the Patreon platform. Just go to patreon.com slash Premium right now and for just five bucks a month, the price of a cup of coffee, you get exclusive bonus episodes of all my shows every week. Yeah, that aren't available on YouTube. You also get exclusive bonus content that only my Patreon supporters get to see, like comedy shorts and bloopers and outtakes and behind the scenes footage and, and more. You know, I produce this channel all by myself and that takes money. Uh, it takes money for production costs, for wardrobe. My wig budget alone is astronomical. And Patreon is a great way for you to support the content that you love on a monthly basis and get terrific perks and rewards in the process. Hey guys, thank you so much for your support. I love you and I really can't thank you enough. Ben Zook has his very own TV channel.